And welcome everyone here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Frostbite midrange. I wanted to play a Freljord deck today, so we're going to go ahead and play this one. This one's fun to play, and it's it's a good deck. Um, you know, this is you know deck built around Ash, of course, and Frostbiting enemies and giving them zero power and then using some Challenger stuff. If you remember last time that we played this, we were really discussing what to do with the two top end slots. Um, we had two Trindomirs in the deck that were just really disappointing, that they kept on being stuck in our hand while we were uh, trying to stabilize or, or winning games, and, and they just we were never really able to play them. And so I still just don't know what to do with those two slots. Um, thought, you know, I've been thinking about just a whole lot of different options. What were, uh, Last time we ended up trying uh, Minotaur Reckoner, which was fine. It was, it was you know, fine. Uh, what I want to try here today for those two slots is I'm going to try one Rhyme Tusk Shaman. It just gets us more Frostbite stuff. Now, the, the reason why Minotaur Reckoner is kind of a little bit better than Shaman, even though Shaman does all the Frostbiting, which is great with Ash and with Rhyme Fang Wolf, um, and it's also the strongest enemy instead of Stun, which doesn't really do anything for the deck, and the weakest enemy is because of the size. Minotaur Reckoner being a 6-6, it's a lot better in combat. And also, 5-plus allies are important because of Assessor. But I still want to try Rhyme Tusk Shaman for the other reasons, for uh, Frostbite being so important. So we'll, we'll try Shaman. It also costs 5 instead of 6. We'll see, so we'll see how that goes. Um, and also, I want to maybe try a War Mother's Call in this deck. To have, like, if Trindomir is supposed to be, like, this top-end thing against, like, this lower control deck that's, like, this big threat that's supposed to... Uh, you know, be difficult for them to to kill and, and win the game. Why not play War Mother's Call? And so this seems like something that we could just play like the top end and and just be awesome. So that's what I want to try. Um, but yeah, these two slots definitely are in flux. There's a, so many different options between all of these things. Um, yeah. Uh, anyway. Um, and, you know, even even just some of these other champions, maybe. I'm not... I, I don't know. I just don't know exactly what I want to do with these two. Uh, but, yeah, those of y'all on YouTube, whenever you're watching this, if, you know, feel free to comment, you know, afterwards what, what you think we should do with these these slots. But the rest of the deck is, is pretty well put together. Definitely think about playing another Culling Strike, by the way. I know Culling Strike's been pretty decent for us, so one of these could be a second Culling Strike. That's an option. But anyway, let's get to the games. We're going to be playing five games over in Ranked with Frostbite Midrange. Let's go. Heimerdinger Karma. There was some note right there that said something about, you know, Heimerdinger it just has like those interesting notes. I wonder if it gave us that note because then our next opponent was Heimerdinger. All right, not a good hand. So, Glory Seeker, not very good against the control deck, especially the one playing Static Shock. So gone. Katarina is a super great late game card. Can get Mystic Shots early. Assessor, we don't really have five power allies. Let's let's just send this back. We want like Omen Hawk. There we go. This is a lot better. Omen Hawk. Battling Bird draws a card. Hearth Guard. These are the cards that we want. This is a better hand. Alright, we got our Failure board. And our Noxious pet. <laughs> <laughs> New pets are cool. They're different. Doesn't do anything when you click on your opponent's pet. The 2 2 Omen Hawk. That's a good card. That's going to be a tough one to deal with. It's going to be good at racing. Ooh. Okay. I will unite the Interesting. Take from the 
Eldritch gave to me. Amorosis, stand together! Stop on me. I'm gonna use Brittle Steel so that I still have Elixir of Iron to protect against a removal spell. You know, like, get excited. I want to be able to pump the, the toughness. Well, that's unfortunate. It's a three for three trade, though. So it's not like we're down cards from it, but it's just unfortunate. Fast as wind, light as air. The war mother will unite us all. Elusives can be difficult. Now I need those challengers, but um, I don't really have any protection for the challengers either. You five power? That is awesome. Fortunate. Line up. Take from the rich, give to me. I'll show you how it's done. Don't be calling no enforcement. <clears throat> All right. Save me, Luke. Ah. So I'm going to be using a brittle steel on the four three to not take four damage. But I think we just take the two damage. I save the other one. I think. Tall is a mountain and covered in ice. I need just a moment. Do, do, do. We attack in. Nothing special here. Surprisingly, they just pass the seven mana. I'll be surprised if they pass again. Whoa. All right, let's go. Two attacks. Do, do, do. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, it's too late for you. I don't want to brittle steal like how they they pass priority and and th that was going to resolve. I don't want to brittle steal and then it doesn't resolve. Thing to happen with that. All right, we'll play that. Bank the rest of the mana. So now I can War Mother's Call this next turn. But they surrendered. All right, Frostbite mid range. Out grinding. That assessor was really nice. Drawing those extra cards. Stuff was creatures were too big. Right. So another removal heavy deck. This is weird. Like everything costs four, but it's not like these are bad cards, but they just all cost four. Coling Strike kills Draven and Ezreal, so I'm gonna keep Coling Strike. Babbling Bjerg draws the card. I'm going to put back the other four drops for now. There we go. I don't feel like Ashes. Like, you know, we're like basically 50 50 to draw Ash with Bjerg anyway. Bjerg's drawing either Ash or Hearthguard. Oh, it also can draw the, the um, 
Is it Assessor? Trifarian Assessor, the 5 1 Challenger. You can draw that too. Draw on one of those. Alright, bank into spell mana. Which can help cast Brittle Steels and Elixir of Irons. So they're still passing. Um. I'll play Legion Drummer just because it's do basically doesn't die to Mystic Shot. I'm, which is why I'm playing it instead of. Instead of the dog. Two removal spells, they get three targets for Ezreal. I will unite the frail yard. All right, six four Ash. I just felt like I should play that because that just attacks for so much more than, you know, twice as much than Babbling Bjerg. Boo, another Ezreal trigger. And I don't get to attack. Yuck, they're already at four. I've dealt one point of damage. I do like the Elixir of Iron. It's a good card to have. It's a good card to have. Eyes blazing, bright as torches. Put on me mask, secure me tail, start the day. Hearthguard's bugged right now. It keeps on putting like this message. This bubble like always comes up whenever you play Hearthguard. So it's kind of bugged. And let's attack. So it's a 5 4 hearth guard. Let's attack in. Frostbite there. I'm sure the other one will block, but then we'll frostbite that. Surprised they're not even just blocking the Yeoman Hawk. Ezreal's already at 7 out of 8. They have done a wonderful job leveling up Ezreal. Their hand has been awesome at doing that. Maybe they don't have Ezreal because of that? Maybe? It's probably unlikely, but maybe. We need, we need to be drawing units like Trifarian Assessor or, yeah, Babbling Bjerg. Okay, wait. No, I guess we just go straight to attacks, don't we? So the, the problem with playing this first is Yone? They're not a Yone deck. Never mind. Yeah, we can play this first, right? They're, this is the Draven version. Yeah, never mind. We're good. Yeah, yeah, this card, yeah, this board does look good with the Frostbite units. That's what I'm going to try to start... You know, pairing up my boards and everything, because, yeah, it does look better. All right, so we're going to have attack, attack. Let's attack this way. That one, that one. Excuse you.
And just try to kill everything. <clears throat> but they're they're gonna be going for the kill on me this turn. And I hope they play all the burst speed stuff right now, not fast speed stuff. No, they did that very well, and they played the fast speed stuff right now. So they just need uh, like one burn spell. This puts me down to three, so they, you know, they need a burn spell either right now. Or draw into one. Resolve. What could they have in their hand that I win? Oh. Like, you know, like what, what could the cards possibly be in their hand that I would actually win? Very good hand. So I, I just could not have played the fraud, the harsh winds. That's I just should not have played the harsh winds. Um, yeah, you know, could have played the brittle steel first, but I, I couldn't play the harsh winds. Playing the harsh winds meant I didn't get to kill that Ezreal before they untapped. That was just a, that was a really good game of showing exactly what their game plan was, though. They had it. Awesome targets. And everything. Um, like a ton of targets. And then find your Ezreal. Play it right at time. And then play all those spells and kill you. you know, that's that's the combo. Um, I don't dislike this hand. But I guess these cards... Let's just, I guess, send those back. Like, that's not a bad hand. Same thing. But those aren't our powerful cards, and they don't really do very much without other things. Like, we, we need challengers to make Legion Drummer good, and so on. No, there's not really, like, Culling Strike is, like, the one good, reliable removal spell in these regions for Ezreal. And that's why I was saying that we could, you know, probably play a second Culling Strike instead of, like, in one of those two slots. A second Culling Strike's an option. First speed removal isn't really a thing. I keep step with the heartbeat of Noxus. I, I think that game pack mentality would have been good, and 95 plus percent of games pack mentality is going to be a dead card. But that was like 1 in 20 games that pack mentality would have been useful. I'll go ahead and block. I don't really need this 1-1. Just say poor life. 
open up a space for more units. What do I do about 4A Brahm? The problem with attacking is take heart. They're like that's like their goal is just take heart. If you know, I can't attack here and have the Legion drummer protect the Ash to give the Ash um Quick attack, and it's possible I just needed to do that just to start leveling up Ash because that's that's like my only way that I'm winning this is we level up Ash right now. The time is right. so we're gonna play Ash's Flash Freeze and shuffle, and then redraw. Cool. Try to get more flash freezes like this to level up Ash. But yeah, like they were definitely setting up take hearts. I've played against this person quite a bit, the Sacred Curse person. Every like they've been playing this deck like all week. They've been playing it a whole lot. Um, they they have a lot of you know the, the Sacred Hearts and and uh, pump or like toughness pump. For this in Yasuo. Guide our allies, my friend. No, I haven't seen any of the champions for the new set, no. I haven't seen anything about the new set. Do we have any idea of when the new set's coming out? Any idea at all? actually be useful here. them to attack with a bunch of stuff. Attack with everything else, too. Oh, that's smart. Try to attack with that to free up a slot. That's smart. It's a weird game. Definitely need Katarina for this game. Today we 
<sighs> okay, so how are we doing this? So we say this, this, this can't block. They just want, then they just chomp, 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 and they just get to play more things. That is exciting, though. So yeah, okay. So there's a. Yeah, so there's. People have new voice lines. For new champions, it's exciting. We're we're getting pretty close to whenever we're gonna have you know new set, new champions, all that kind of stuff. Man, I'm super excited. They get to play one unit. We get to play two. I think we play Katarina and then Assessor and draw four. And hope we draw... Oh, I don't have enough mana? I could have paid attention to that, I suppose. Let's find another ash. Up there in the mountain. Thank you. Which then means I guess I have to draw that. Or I have to play that and not play the assessor that would draw a lot of cards. This was a weird game, but definitely really good for Ash. No, they, they denied that card. No, that's bad. attack with everything. You know, we're giving them more space to play more things. So, so that may be bad. We'll have the Elixir of Iron protect Ash. And then we'll be able to replay Katarina. Unfortunately, whenever Katarina gets bounced, these these uh buffs go away. <laughs> Don't want any trouble. They they could definitely have like take heart. I would not be surprised if they had take heart to kill my Ash. But I can't do anything about that. Just how it goes. No one gets in my way. Alright, well now it's suddenly looking like we're gonna lose because of that. We need that ash still. I needed that crystal arrow to, to resolve that. The deny, you know, won them the, or, you know, like, if they win, it's definitely 
that deny one on the game. Now this thing can block now, so that's that's kind of the problem now that that can block. Um, you earn the right to call you know, if we play Tiberian. Katarina. Okay. Your more mothers call it up. Wait, so I need to save two mana for next turn, so I can't play Hearth Guard. Hmm. I really want to play Hearth Guard, but then we don't get War Mother's Call. Next turn. Wish I had one more mana. Really want to play Hearthguard. It doesn't really make sense to attack, does it? Yeah, like Legends of I think Legends of Runeterra is a, a better game. I wrote about that a few weeks ago. If that command still works. My hmm. And I can find that. Here we go. My only chance of winning this game is, at this point is Ash. Uh, there's only one Ash left in here. Is Ash and like make a lot of things not be able to block. Like that combination. That's my hope. Of getting through this Braum and infinite creatures that Braum makes. Well, there's the Ash. Um. So this could work. No. Show yourself. Man. Gosh. Man, we are going to be attacking for lethal this turn. You know, we're going to like the Ash was going to make something not block. This was going to make something not block. This was going to make something not block. And then I was going to pull the other things with the Glory Seeker. Now they get to use Braum to kill Ash. Um, uh, they would have had Will of Ionia anyway. Stop my Ash. Harsh wins. That's the exact card I needed. Keep them from killing Ash. That was like the only card I could draw. It's harsh winds. Clutch draw.
All right, this thing can't block. So we can... Harsh winds, this and this. Block that. Take five. I'll just pass. We're gonna get a, a free creature of the War Mother's Call. We'll just take that creature, whatever that is. The frost reveals all to me. It's a good one. Um, we'll say you can't block, and attack, attack, attack. I mean, obviously. I need um, I need them not to have a will of Ionia now and bounce the ash. Awesome. I was gonna pull the I was gonna pull the Brom over to I was gonna pull the Brom over to the wolf as well. Even though the Brom couldn't block at that point, I think it was worth it pulling it over to the wolf. Yeah, what a game. What a game. That was that was some good strategy back and forth. That was good. Okay, so the best estimate is 6 to 10 weeks from now. With two new regions. Or two new champions per region. Uh, let's see. Karma Lux. Yeah, that is really cool how they get to keep adding regions. So you can have... Yeah, that's... That's going to be awesome how we just keep adding more regions. You know, like, we have, like, eight regions, and so then you have, as far as, you know, two region decks, you just have a even wider variety of, of choices. That's going to be awesome. Monk's guessing it's one new region, Bilgewater, and then a new champ for each current region. It's not a bad guess either. Oh, Sky, I say it's two two regions of Bilgewater and Mount Targon. That sounds cool too. They're, of course, going to play their six-mana spell. Or they just didn't. I thought for sure they were playing this six-mana spell, and then I was going to Glory Seeker it. I thought for sure that that's what was going to be happening there. That was definitely my plan. I wanted to pass and let them play it first. My shield is yours. No, I think it's all guesses right now. I don't think there's any official info. Oh, there's new patch notes today. 
There's new patch notes today. There's a link to the to, to today's patch notes. That's great. That's just going to kill their thing through the barrier. Doesn't matter they have a barrier on it. Okay, so the capsules... So after level 13, the capsules are 4,500 XP each. And then you get three rares and two commons. Um, and then, you know, the three rares and the commons all have the chance to upgrade, and the capsule has the chance to upgrade. So, you know, everything gets to upgrade. Everything has a chance of upgrading, at least. Victory requires a sharp blade. I'm going to be playing the assessor here, trying to draw four cards. That's my goal. Line up! Line up! So AI, so one through ten AI wins are 100 XP, and then 11 up are 50 XP. Was that really worth casting a prismatic barrier to do three damage to my hearth card? Is that really worth it? We have not found an Ash yet, or any Frostbite cards. We march as one, an unstoppable force. You can now purchase unlimited wild cards. You're pretty good. Only the finest serve. <clears throat> so still no... Get rid of this thing that was going to be blocking. So that's lethal, that's 19. <clears throat> well, it doesn't really matter if we don't have any frostbite stuff. That can show you how Assessor can dominate. Man, Trifarian Assessor can be pretty broken at times. We still had just millions of cards. Oh, the hair. Alright, so the harrowing is going to be. Oh, okay. 
okay, so the Harrowing is only reviving allies now. That's a huge nerf for, for the Harrowing. Uh, let's see. Demacia stuff. All looks reasonable for Demacia stuff. A Rhyme Fang Wolf and then a whole bunch of Frostbite. That seems like exactly what we want against Demacia stuff. So what's this Master Tier? When we launched Open Beta, our rating system was locking down high-level MMR way too tightly, way too quickly, resulting in extremely static Master Tier rankings. We made an initial change to give the system more freedom to adjust MMR based on game results. I guess they just assume you know what MMR means. I guess that's just an assumption here. They're not saying what that means. But anyway, we made a quick initial change to give the system more free freedom to adjust MMR based on game results, but it turns out we went a little too far and we've heard frustration about how punishing losses in particular could be. Yeah, they're huge. We're tightening things up again, though not to the start of beta values to reduce some of the variance. Okay. All right, so you're getting s smaller swings and rank both up and down after each game. Oh, dang. That means I need to... We need to, like, win a bunch today before that happens so we can have, like, a higher rank before this, the swings stop going up and down so much. MMR equals matchmaking rating. Like, why would they not say that? Why would they not say, you know, like, locking down high-level matchmaking rating and then in parentheses MMR, like, the first time, and then you can refer to that as MMR every time afterwards? Show them the might of Noxus. I can do what I want with opponent's cards. Up Monday. Well, the ban I I'm pretty confident in the banner of Noxus for for doing really well. We'll see if the Karina Veraza uh, control. It'll be my first time one playing banner, that deck. One destiny. Six mana. Nice triple spell here. And level up Ash. A symbol worth fighting for. Winter take you. And GG. As the arrow flies. Yeah, looks like GG to me. Avarosa, guide me. None of those can block. GG. <laughs> All right, four and one. That's pretty good. 
deck's pretty good. Ash is just awesome. And you know, we have, we have some different things. We got to see it really uh, outgrind some other decks. Uh, it had some really good games in there, like that that one game against the, the Braum deck was an insane game. Um, and, uh, um, and then, you know, we got to see it kind of like, like really outgrind the, uh, Lux deck with the assessors drawing four cards each. Um, but yeah, pretty sweet deck here. I still don't know what to do with like the Shaman War Mother's Call. The War Mother's Call looked good. You know, we played it there against the Braum deck, right? And it looked good. I think, I think that's a good one of. Yeah, it's going to be bad sometimes, but I think it's, you know, very similar to Trindomir as like a, a late game win the, you know, try to win the game type card. But Trindomir is just so easily answered because like their Karma is everywhere and like all the control decks are playing Karma for the most part. And Karma decks all have Will of Ionia and they just bounce this. To be fair, the con those same control decks have Deny and they can Deny Will War Mother's Call. I understand that. But you can kind of play around that a little easier than play around Will of Ionia because they can always just untap and Will. Um, and things like that. Um, I, you know, not super sure about the Rhyme Tell Shaman. It looked fine. Yeah, like that. Again, those those slots. Uh, we're talking about maybe putting in a Culling Strike. Maybe instead of the Rhyme Tell Shaman, play another Culling Strike. That gives you a second removal spell for Ezreal. And just other stuff like that. I don't know. I don't know what to do with... Like, I like basically everything except for those two slots. The Katarina. We, we never really use Katarina, to be honest. The Katarina could go also. If you want to play a second Culling Strike instead of Katarina, that's also just fine. Um, I definitely like the one Culling Strike. I would not get rid of that. But the other three one ofs, they can be um, mixed and matched, and you know you can play you can play whatever you want, basically there. Uh, you yeah you could you could have what's the name of that card. Somebody just suggested this card that I can't find. Nope, not that one. It's five mana. Why am I not seeing it? Where is it at? Isn't it five mana? Is it six mana? Six mana. Oh, Reckoning. It's six mana. Six mana, Reckoning. If you have five plus power, ally, I kill all units of four or less power. You could. That's going to kill a lot. Like, that's going to kill... A good amount of your stuff sometimes and then like control is really popular in the metagame though and this is just another card that's kind of dead against control like you already have things like harsh winds that are already dead against control you know harsh winds brittle steels and i don't know if we really want a reckoning also for that um <clears throat> all right but anyway that's uh frostbite midrange okay mmr is a common shorthand in online gaming from starcraft Gotcha. All right. Uh, those of y'all watching on YouTube, though, hit that like button over there. Uh, leave a comment. Let me know if you're playing this deck, too, how it's going for you. This is a, a very good Ash deck. And uh, let me know what you think of, like, these slots that we, we spent a lot of time talking about. You know, the, the Katarina, Shaman, War Mother's Call. Let me know what you think of those slots and, and what you... you know, if you're if you're doing anything spicy with them or if you're having playing any cards that you really like that you're having a lot of success with, let me know over there in the comments. Uh, last thing, donation decks. They're just 10 bucks if you uh, want to see your deck played on stream. Um, this is the donate link there. Um, or if you want me to build a deck. It's just $10 donation. Um, oh, I think our, our bot isn't working, so, well, not the, the link isn't showing up there, but uh, for the YouTube channel, it's in the description. Um, $10 to send me your code with the donation. It's easy as that. All right, but that's it here for Frostbite Midrange, so thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.